Hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And before we get in, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X, and smash that notification button for the latest videos. So we're here to talk about Luke Shaw. So yeah, um, as most of you know, Luke Shaw went off injured um, sometime in the Crystal Palace game on Saturday, um, and uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had. Well, he had a scan, obviously, um, to see to assess the extent of the injury, and it was hoped that he would be back at least for Southampton game. Unfortunately, according to Talk Sport, um, it looks like Luke Shaw's out of a hamstring problem, and hamstring problems are never good. Um, and while it was initially thought that it wasn't too serious, the scans have shown the injury is more serious than first four, and that Luke Shaw could be out for a round for weeks um this is an ideal for this is an ideal for the club it's not ideal for him i feel sorry for luke shaw because frankly he's been battling with injury issues for as long as i can remember it's like he's always injured he's always out um and you know i think towards the end of last season i think it wasn't so bad um last season i think he, it was it was okay he was just getting back into fitness but my goodness, this guy is, is is a black cat when it comes to injuries, you know. And I feel like it's really going to affect... Uh, he's, uh, he's slowly coming into his prime now. And I just feel that the potential of him being a really, really top-class defender is, is near to almost going, you know. Because he's just been blighted by injuries. And I just think that, you know, that ability um, is, is is slowly but surely leaving. Just because he just, he just can't get there because he's out with injuries. Um... You know, last season, you know, they even talks of saying last season was the first in which he had made over 20 league appearances for a club in a single campaign. You know, he, most appearances were last season just. And he's been with us for at least, I think he was bought under Van Hal. So he's, he must be, yeah, two, you know, it must be at least four years that he's been with us, you know. Five years even, you know. So, that you know, in his fifth appearance, he made the most 20. So, you know, it's I feel for him. I feel for him. I feel for him. The issue obviously comes down to who's going to replace him. Who is going to replace um, Luke Shaw now? Um, Ashley Young obviously replaced Shaw against Palace. Um, he could get another run. Um, Dallow is obviously um, an option. Um, although he's currently injured. Um, I don't know if a Foster Mentz is a shout. For me, Ashley Young... <sighs> It's not that Ashley Young can't do a good. Ashley Young can't is okay, but for me, if if Delo is fit, you start Delo. Um, that's the way I see it. Although defensively, he's not as good, but you know, Ashley Young defense is not as good either. They're both better up top, you know, which could actually help us to be honest in terms of crossing the ball into the box and stuff like that that we need, um, and really bombing up with the fullbacks. Um, if Foster Mendes is fit, maybe give him a try out against Southampton. I don't know. But I mm, I just would be very hesitant to, to just push Ashley Young into this side, you know, because as soon as Ashley Young's into that side, especially in a team that is already vulnerable because there's no midfielder, um, you know, I think it's a problem. But this is the thing, this is what we were saying. We've been saying a long, long time is that all it takes is for one or two players to get injured. And suddenly you realise how suddenly you realise the Manchester United squad does not have any depth at all, at all. You know, you look at the Man City, you look at Liverpool's. With one player injured, there's at least a good player they can come in that slots into the system, and it's fine. That's your Diva Corrigis, that's your Shakiris, that's your Wijnaldums, that's your Gomez's, whatever. They have that in place. Uh, Manchester United do not have that in place and do not have players good enough in place and relying on academy projects to come in and slot in and do a job and that's and that's going to be a problem for us going forward because we are going to get more injuries um but yeah uh, thanks for listening guys like you said it's a brief update here um i really wish luke shaw all the best in his recovery and hope he plays at manchester united fairly soon thanks for watching guys once again, please remember to like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at WeUnitedX. Smash that notification to get updates with the latest videos from this channel. And remember, join our Fantasy Premier League team where you could win an official Manchester United 2019-2020 shirt. 
Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.